voila, we sanded it and finished it. And this is what it looks like for your little box. You can put any kind of trim that you are, any kind of router relief around the outside or just round it off or do whatever you want to do. Um, another little secret that I do is I take some of the leftover plastic and put into this groove here so that um, all the finish doesn't get down in it and makes it uh, too small and then you got to sit there and scrape it out and stuff and that becomes a real pain in the butt. So the next thing that we need to do after we've got it all finished is put the electronics in. And there's a couple things that you can do. Um, I buy my LEDs on a roll and then just clip off what I need. You can buy LED controllers. This is a mini controller. This happens to be 5 volt for USB, but they also make them in 12 volts. Um, the holes are cut for the 12 volt version, um, but you can modify these holes for any controller that you put in them. I also have, I bought, buy these little harnesses for the uh, LED strip so that it converts it over to plug into the controller. So essentially what you'll, when you get this all put together, um, the LED will be attached to this wire, this wire will be attached to your controller, and then you're going to attach your controller to the box. So the first thing I do is get my, prepare my LEDs. And on this particular LED, since it's um, a outdoor version of the LEDs, on these particular LEDs, since they're, if they are outside LEDs, you have to prep the LED on the end here because it's got like a silicone rubber coating on it. And quite honestly, this can be a daunting thing. I've tried scraping it and several other different ways of doing it. And the best way that I have found is to use a little wire wheel on a Dremel tool. And essentially what we're going to do is just take the wire wheel and brush off the silicone coating. And you got to do it on both sides for the very fact you got to get the glue off of the other side because it has uh, a two sided sticky tape on the other side. So, in order to get rid of that glue, we got to do the same thing on this side. And all that does is dress this up a little bit. Okay. The next thing after that is you take this harness and you open the harness up and this LED strip goes inside this harness. Like so. and you slide it under these two tabs. Should add some more coffee today. I don't drink coffee so I guess that wouldn't help. And you slide it until the tabs go under these little tabs here. So you slide it in there and then you clamp it down. And sometimes it takes a little bit more force than my fingers so I'll gently put it down like that. Now you can test this with a controller. 
So let me get my 12 volt controller. So I got my 12 volt controller. Plug it into a 12 volt source. And then I can plug my controller in to my LEDs just to make sure that they work correctly. Okay. And what I do is I set there and go red, green, blue. Okay. And let it go through its cycle to make sure all the colors work. There's red, there's green, there's blue. So I know that my LEDs are hooked up good and they're hooked up correctly. And usually what I'll do is I'll just leave it hooked up while I'm installing the LED. And the reason for that is, is that if I happen to make a mistake somewhere or whatever, I can compensate for it. Okay. Now, okay, now that we got the wires down, we're trying to put some hot glue on them to hold them in place. And hot glue does a pretty good job of holding these in place, so you don't have to get crazy with it. There we go. And let that set up. Okay, we're back. This uh, hot glue is now set up as you can see. Now we're ready to install the rest of our controller devices. So we want to put this guy here goes into there. Okay. And then this is your power. And that's going to come way over to here. Okay, now we're back. Sometimes this, we have uh, to work on these holes a little bit. Hot glue is now set up as you can see. Depending on the supplier. Now we're ready Your to install the rest size. of the controller device. But that's not a big deal. So you just get yourself a This guy here goes bit, into there. Okay. And you holler out the holes. And then to fit. This is your power. And that's going to come right over here. And sometimes you have to go find these holes in the Because depending on the supplier, you keep the holes and you holler out the holes. Push that into that hole there so it's protruding out a little bit. Okay. And then the same thing goes for this part over here. Push it through the hole. And 
No, that hole needs to be a little bit bigger. Ooh, perfect. Push that into that hole there, so it's protruding out a little bit. over here. Stick it through the hole. Uh, that hole needs to be a little bit bigger. All you want that to do is to proceed to the outside here. But you want it to kind of stay in place too. Well, that's pretty good there. What I'll do is I'll put a piece of tape over All you it want right here so it holds it in place. The outside here. The you want to kind of stay in up. place too. do is I'll put a piece of tape over it right here so it holds it in place while it's the glue is setting off. There we go. Now we'll put some hot glue to hold these pieces in place. Man, that thing is really being ornery. Now we'll put some hot glue to hold these pieces in place. And you let it set up. Man, that thing is really being ornery. And that should be it for the electronics. There you go. The only other thing you have to do is let it set up. Put your plastic in. And there you go. Now, a couple other things you can do too is put a felt bottom on it. And basically, it's just a piece of felt on the bottom of it. And this is your finished. box and your finished sign.